Okay, this is lab uh, four, physical and chemical properties. You see you start on page 68 of the lab pack manual. Uh, the worksheet's posted below right here. Uh, this will give you, you know, the Word document so you can type in there. You'll have a lab report. So the lab report will go over physical and chemical properties. Uh, basically what you'll do is, you know, the introduction, you tell me the definition was a physical and chemical property, give examples, you know, I, you know, make sure you give me the results and explain the results of the study. So everything will be about physical and chemical properties. And here's where you're going to upload your worksheet and upload your lab report. <coughs> and where you do this as a group. For your video, just show me the setup and you know explain the results. So let's go over this. Uh, we're going to be looking at chemical, uh, physical and chemical properties. We learned a little bit about this in lecture. And remember, a physical property is one that doesn't actually change the substance. So you're looking at um, color. How does something look? How does something smell? You know, you know we're looking at smell and we're looking at color, we're not actually changing what it is. You know, if I'm looking at a piece of metal, you know, I might say it looks silver, shiny, you know, maybe it has, you know, a distinct kind of metallic odor. The hardness, you know, how hard does it actually feel? The density, you know, it's the weight per volume. So if I calculate the density, <coughs> basically I just put it in water, I'm not changing anything. The melting point, so at what point does, what temperature does the, you know, the metal or whatever I'm looking at begin to melt? Boiling point, when does it begin to boil? Solubility, does it dissolve in water? Uh, these things do not actually change the substance at all, okay? So that's a, a physical property. Versus a chemical property, these you're actually undergoing a chemical reaction. So, uh... For example, heating it, oops, heating a metal in a flame is a chemical property. So let me tell you the difference. So a physical property, if we, ah, I keep, sorry, pressing on this. If we look at a uh, really a boiling point, basically <coughs> we're heating that substance, uh, usually in a container, you know, we're, we put it in like a tube or something like that. We heat up the tube and we see at what point does it uh, melt or boil. Okay, versus a chemical property, we put that metal or whatever we're, lo we're looking at directly in the flame. And you see that it usually changes color and everything. So when you put something directly into fire, you're actually doing a chemical property because at that point it's reacting, it's heating the with the flame, but also it's always reacting with oxygen at that point. So you can, that's the difference. It's like actually putting it in the flame versus putting it in a container to heat up. <coughs> so what you're going to be looking at is a different physical chemical properties. And all of these properties distinguish one, um, you know, element from another or a compound from another. If we're looking at a compound, you know, each element, each compound, each molecule has its own uh, unique properties, okay? So, though, uh, let's say we'll look at ethanol. Ethanol, the color of ethanol and compared to water looks the same. They're both clear liquids. But let's look at their odor. They smell very different, don't they? Hardness is probably about the same. The density, uh, similar enough. Water is a little bit more dense. Their melting points are going to be different, their boiling points, and then if you look at their chemical properties, they're going to react with different substances in a different way. So this is just going to show you, we're going to look at different chemicals and look at their chemical and physical properties and see how they're all different from each other. Even though initially they might look the same, you know, for example, ethanol looks like water, but when you start looking at more of their properties, you'll see they're very different. So that's what we're going to be looking at, the, all the different chemical and physical properties of different components.